Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, today I'm going to take a look at this really awesome Ripsaw tank. This is the SG1203. As you can see, it says military police here. Uh, just really, really awesome looking. You have these doors that you can open up here on this tank and put a little military figures in if you wanted to. Just really, really cool. It's got white LEDs that I'll show you here in a minute that come on in the front. Um, just really, really, I'm really having fun with this thing. I was driving around in my house a while ago. Now there's not a whole lot that comes with this, so there's really no reason to do a table overview. You just go over it briefly here before I drive it around here outside. Now let me grab the box. And here is the box that it comes with. You can see it says crawler 112 scale there. It does also come in white, as you guys can see here in the back. Kyle, I like that white. And there's a model number down there. SG1203. Now all it comes with is a little instruction manual. There's this little charger here for the battery. The battery in this, let me show you guys here if I set that down. I didn't put the screw back in here. You don't really need that I don't think. It snaps uh, fine closed. And here's a 1200 milliamp 2S lithium ion battery here inside of it. I'm glad that it comes with a lithium ion that way you don't, you know, a lot of, sometimes these uh, kind of vehicles come with a nickel cadmium pack and I prefer to actually have lithium ion and get a little more punch, probably a little better run time as well. Out of that, there's your on and off switch. Yeah, I mean, it's really, really fun and inexpensive too. If you're interested, to so purchase link to this. It's like $55 for this version. I think they have a version that has, you could, that comes with also a set of metal tracks. And I think that was only maybe around 70 or so. And that's really an amazing price for metal tracks because on my hang along tanks, the metal tracks alone are like $100 for just the tracks. And here is the controller. There's no trims or anything on it. A very basic, just on and off. Your steering throttle in reverse. Takes three AA batteries. And that's it. I mean, there's nothing else to it. So let's go ahead and let's turn it on. Get it turned on here. Get the controller turned on. Make sure you don't push the throttle whenever you turn it on so it gets a good neutral point. That happened to me earlier and it was wanting to drive away from me. When I turned it on, I had my finger on the throttle. And there is the white lights on the front. All right, let's take it and drive it around here. I want to take it down this hill and see if it can make it back up. And that'd be pretty, it ought, have, it ought to have no problem. It does have a lot of uh, punch, you'll see. Look, it, these rip saws are cool. It's not super fast, but that's fine for a tank. It's probably similar in speed to my Hang Along and my Sherman tank, uh, Tiger One tanks that I have. But it's a lot less expensive. Those tanks run, you know, well over a hundred, up to two hundred dollars or more. See these rip saws are. You know, something that's contracted out to the military in the United States here, to, and they're real popular. Let's take it down here and see if I can, don't want to roll it down the sill. Let's see if I can take it down a ways here and turn it around and drive it back up. Ooh, looks like it might, I mean, think it, yeah. It's making it up. I'd say this would probably be about the extent of the incline it could probably do. Whoa, it rolled over. Let me go grab it here. This incline to me looks like it's probably in the 35 to 45 degree incline here. But it was doing pretty good on it, but it kind of got caught in some tall grass there. So let's, let's try it again. I don't want to take it all the way down because it's a mud pit down there. I'm mostly having trouble steering it. Just take it down here again and see if I, oh, now it is going to roll. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it went upright. Let's see if I can bring it back up. This is a pretty steep incline, but it seems to have the power. The throttle, the throttle is proportional, but it's pretty touchy. So you're pretty much almost always going full speed, but it does seem like if I give it a little bit, that I go a little slower. Come on, let's make it up. Oh, of course it's gonna hit those tall. I think I'm gonna make it. 
Oh. oh. Tell you what, I'm having the hardest time with the pulling. Oh, yeah. We made it up. So, you know, it pulls a little bit and stuff, and we rolled it. As you can see, there's no problems there. And I, good, I didn't have to go all the way down there and possibly step in a bunch of nasty mud because I just got his sandals on. It is cold today here. It is only in the mid to low 30s Fahrenheit, so it's a little chilly, but there's no wind. That's why it's kind of foggy today. So it's not so bad out here. Yeah, this is neat. You can see a fire spot over there where kids come out here and party <laughs> on the weekends. I'm leave a big old mess over there. But there's trails out here outside of my, uh, actually near where I live here. And uh, I think that going down there is where people maybe take ATVs because it's bigger than a walking trail. But there's walking trails all throughout here. And if it was not such, if it wasn't so wet, I'd take this out and drive it around in one of those trails, but it's just too muddy to do that. But yeah, I mean, to me, that's a, that's a fine speed for a tank. I mean, you don't want a tank to go too quick. It's a little bit noisy with those belts, you know, the tracks it's gonna be. Take it over here. I don't want to get it in too much mud, just I don't want to get it dirty. As you can see, it's got pretty good power. I mean, this, this short grass is not a problem at all. Just going up that kind of grass on that incline of about 40 degrees or so, as you can see, it was just pulling on me. It was steering was my main issue. The power going up this hill was actually not a problem. But it's such a steep incline that you can see if it, the way it kind of, it, it way it rocks itself when you gun it, actually ended up getting high and ended up rolling down the hill. But no, no harm, and that's what you want to see. I mean, the thing would break or something like that, then obviously wouldn't have very good durability. It wouldn't be worth it. But this thing is not going to be easy to break. It feels pretty well built. Again, let's see. There's a little. Let's get a little bit of throttle. As you can see, there is proportional. You can go slow if you want, but it doesn't take much throttle and you are going full speed. Same, the steering though, let's see if, you know, you can give it a little bit. But it's pretty easy to drive. Now, I don't know what the top speed on this is. Uh, my buddy David over at Perth West Oz, he did some tests. I don't remember if he did top speed on this. I want to think you did. I know you had a range test. So forgive me, Dave, if you're watching this. I just, I am losing track of my memory at times, remembering, keeping everybody's videos, track of everybody's videos. But be sure to go check out David's channel because I know he's got several videos on this. And he's got some stuff that he might be interested in that I'm not, uh, that I'm not going to do, like the range test. If you want to see that, go check it out. He's also got the Fast and Furious rip saw, which is really cool. It has a gun mount on top. It was in one of the, I think, Fast and Furious. I don't remember which movie is five, six, something. There's, there's so many of those movies. That one's really cool looking too. In fact, I like the look of the Fast and Furious rip saw tank better than this one. Though I want to think again here, and I'm get that the, the, this tank was better a little faster than the uh, Fast and the Furious one. But again, I'm going by memory here, and the older I get, the worse that is, so I could have it reversed. Let's drive it over here and see if we can take it down this ditch a little bit, and then we'll wrap this up. I don't want to make it too long. I mean, whether you're an adult like myself, or if you're just looking for a gift for someone younger, I mean, this is a good choice because it's not, I mean, $55 is not, is not a lot for a fully functional tank. I got stuck a little bit. But yeah, I mean, the power's great. Look at that. Again, just, just steering, because it's obviously, it's obviously, uh, switching between which tracks are moving to steer like any tank would and it can pull a little bit on you let's see if we can drive it around here and through the through the uh, ditch and back up to me 
to some ice over here on top of the water. That'd be cool to drive across if that were completely solid, but it's not. I don't want this to go in the water because I, it's not gonna have trouble with a little puddle or something, but I wouldn't submerge this thing. You'd probably, you'd probably end up ruining it. Whoa, oh, is it gonna roll? Oh yeah, it did. It rolled up on its side, so I gotta be careful here. This is mostly just soggy, so that we don't end up. That's the only problem that I'm seeing with this guy is he is how easy it is to do that. It's a bit top heavy. I don't know if the real rip saw is probably it was not that prone to rolling over, but it does tend to. I do tend to get it rolled over here, and this yeah, see that did it again. But it lots of times ends up back on its on its tracks. There. So I'm only, that's the only real fault I'm seeing with this is it does tend to roll over quite easily. But like I said, probably you know more times than not it ended up on its tracks. Got a little bit dirty, that's okay. It means we're having fun. If you're not getting it dirty, you're probably not having fun, even though I never, I always like to keep my RC stuff clean. I like the look of clean, but that also means I'm probably not having a lot of fun unless I take the time to clean it up. The runtime on this, I don't know um, what you're gonna get for certain. I mean, I think 20 to 25 minutes is probably realistic it could be closer to 15 um, I don't they may I think the bang goods probably got a runtime on there but those lots of times are exaggerated but uh, you should get a pretty good runtime with a 1200 milliamp it's you know it's just brush motors in there shouldn't uh, shouldn't drain it too quick all right guys I think that's enough driving around to see this uh, SG1203 military police uh, rip saw tank of course you can also get it in white if you're interested again just check the description if you want to support the channel just use that link to, to purchase it if you're interested and that'll help support me and it won't cost you a, a, you know a cent more all right guys that wraps it up be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel if you like what you see click the bell so you know when I do upload new videos be sure to like the, vi you know, the video and as always guys have a wonderful day the power of the dark side, side, side.